In this video, you will see Julian and Alyssa working on the following problem. The Mars rover is traveling along the Martian surface. The table below shows the rate at which dust accumulates on its solar panels for various points along the 100-kilometer path it travels. How much dust will it accumulate? As they work, consider the obstacles they encounter and think about how you might solve the problem. What if we did 100 kilometers and multiply it by its rate. So then we did this. So then we would get a hundred milligrams. Um, I see what you're saying, but I think I think the issue with that is that we're ignoring that the the amount of dust per distance traveled, like it changes. Like I, I think see. what you're saying is that like it's always one milligram mm -hmm. per kilometer the whole hundred kilometers, but like this shows that at the different positions it is changing. I see. I think you're right. So I think we need to like because we do travel a hundred kilometers, but we need to like incorporate the other rates as well. Yeah. Like, maybe like add them and then multiply that by the 100 so that we can get, um, like, um, our, um, like how much is how good? much does, yeah, yeah. The mil in milligrams. So then, okay, so then you're saying, let's process now. So you're saying, let's do six uh, plus 3.5, and then we're gonna take that and do 100 times 16.5. So 165 milligrams. Seems oh. reasonable. But I feel like we're missing something. I feel like now we're saying that the rate of dust accumulating at 100 kilometers is 16.5, but here we have one. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that's consistent. What if, um, okay, what if instead of multiplying, like adding them up and then multiplying it by 100, what if we multiplied the rates by the position along the path? So then we did. So like. Six and zero. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So what if we did that instead? So let's see what we would get. We would get, um, I'm going to write it six times zero. Plus. Does that seem right? I think that's going to end up being a lot. Because I mean, just looking at a few of them, they're already over a hundred, like individual terms. Um, oh, mm -hmm. but like, oh, if we do it that way, that's, that's meaning that like, it's like we're, doing these paths, like, like this 40, like if we think about like, like if we're on the path, mm -hmm. like 20, 40, I think if we multiply like the 40 by the 2.5, that's saying like all of this is 2.5. Oh, uh, we but know we, that's not true. Yeah, but we know like from here to maybe like here is like 3.5. I see. Well, I guess it'd be above, but like, so I think, that's like over counting things okay like the same like reason why like this 100 times one we originally like that was like my first thinking and then we kind of counted that out so i think that's like doing that multiple times so i don't think that's gonna work i think somehow we need to incorporate like that it that we're changing along the way in this video Julian and Alyssa knew that they had to account for the different rates of dust accumulation, but they weren't satisfied with the methods they tried. We'll explore how to think about accumulation in upcoming videos.